So I'm here with uh, John this morning. Um, we want to talk about his uh, fungal nail condition that we've been working on for a while. This is a, a picture of a previous time where he had a lot more fungus in his nails. Uh, he's a lot better now, as you can see. We can improve the fungal nail, uh, even though uh, it takes a lot of effort. It takes a long time to improve this, but um, persistence uh, wins. So. There you have it. So what I, what I do is I'm going to first grind out the nails, make it thinner, so when I uh, shoot a laser into the nails, then it'll be able to penetrate into the nails uh, a lot easier. So we do this about every couple of months now, right, John? Every two months. Every two months we've been doing, and it's a slow process, but it uh, does help, and it improves um, overall appearance, and obviously having fungus in your nails is not a very healthy thing, so working on that so first I'm going to uh, grind out uh, anything extra on the nail to make it uh, nice and thinner so how you been John what's happening I'm good everything's good yeah. trying to retire for many years right right many years mm -hmm. worked on Catalina my whole life so you were in so you were at Catalina Island which right. is about uh, how far is that from uh, from uh, Los Angeles 26 miles across the city 26 miles so yes, sir. So he comes to the main main uh, land. We call it mainland. The mainland. How often do you come here, John? Well, back and forth. I got a friend in Huntington Harbor that I go down and visit. And yeah, that's right. Ride bicycles a little bit. Yeah, he's a he's a bike fanatic. How, how much you bike? Almost every day. Every day I can. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he's it's not raining. Yeah, he's in great shape too. And well, I was a harbor master in Avalon for 30 years. Then I was the general manager of. The west end of Catalina through Harvard for 11 years. Uh -huh. And I managed the freight service on Avalon up to last year for two years. Wow. So I'm retired again, but they I'm made looking for something to do. Really? But they, they keep getting you back there to work, though. Yes, they do. Why do they want you back? You're trying to, trying to take it easy. Well, I don't know. It's just part of the island. When you're on the island, it's... Uh, you need something to do, and it's, it's just a beautiful, the ambiance of the island, you can't be. Oh, uh, yeah, the uh, island's beautiful. I haven't been there in a while, but I remember last time uh, getting on a tandem bike and going around the island. It was wow. beautiful, and the weather was perfect. It's a, it's a very cozy island. So I remember all that, right, John? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a good place. So what do you do as a harbor master? What, 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 is, your, what is that role? Took care of all the cross-channel boats that came in. Mm -hmm. There's 400 moorings that people tie up and come back and forth. We've got the cross-channel boats and piers uh -huh. to take, keep up. And uh, we have a laser machine on now. It's ready to go. It's 25 watts. So there are certain joules of energy that I put into each toe. So little toes are about 250 joules, and the large toe, the, the Big toes about uh, thousand joules. That's the goal of uh, the treatment. So we put this to protect our eyes. So now um, we're going to start with this big toe here. And as, as you can see, there's a pedal here that I use. And when I when I press on it, the joules go up. And then I measure exactly how much I'm shooting. As you can see, there's a light shining onto this, and it, it heats up the nail. And fungus is very sensitive to the um, the heat so the fungus dies but it uh, doesn't kill the the nail itself and that's the theory anyways so i'm sorry john go ahead so your philosophy in life women whatever women women tell me tell me about your philosophy in in women the philosophy is it's a woman's world i'm just visiting <laughs> And I heard this before, but every time I hear it, it, it just it just hits me hard, and it's really funny because that is exactly how I feel. I, 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 it's just easy. Right. I, I think quicker you realize that, better your life becomes, right? It took me 78 years <laughs> to realize that. Oh, Actually, myself, I realized it after about two years of marriage, yeah. and my marriage has been ever since so much better. So yeah. I think that's a great philosophy. I think we should... Uh, Put that in the caption, put underneath that. That's an excellent uh, thing everybody, all especially men, need to realize that. And quicker you realize, better off you are. Well, that's for sure. Yes. So is this getting hotter? 
Not yet? Yes, it's getting warm. Okay, you just tell me when it gets hot. People work for me? Yes, yes. Yeah, you only have to do three things. Uh huh. And you'll never get in trouble. You've mm -hmm. got to show up on time. That's important. Sh showing up on time, yeah, that, that that's important. Okay. okay so you so tell your, all your employees that? Don't lie to me. I don't lie to you, okay. That's all. <laughs> okay. They, they make excuses, right? Yeah, they always make excuses. They're always, uh, is it hot? Too hot? No, now it's getting hot. Okay, so I'm gonna move to the other toe now. The second and third toe all got all better, so we don't have to shoot that one. So we're back to this one. Okay, so don't lie to me. Don't steal from me. Don't steal from me, okay, wow. Well, that's that's kinda... Great thing. Be huh? on time, don't lie to me, and don't steal. Okay. <laughs> then we'll get along good. Yeah, yeah, and, and be on time. Now, being on time is not easy, though. No, it isn't. That's, that's the hardest part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what what what's been happening? Uh, it's springtime coming up. So is is the island getting busier now? Or they're starting to yeah, they're starting to get ready for the for the summer season. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Cause they have cruise ships that come in two days a week. Uh huh. That drop about two thousand people. Oh wow. About, so that keep keeps the island economy up uh, year round. Right, right. And then and then you're that telling. Me oh, okay. Sorry. So when, when it gets hot, we move to the uh, next toe because we don't want to yeah, burn them. Take it, burn it off. Okay, and then you were telling me about the the water situation, the rationing situation. How, right. Did well, that improve that, this year? Oh yeah, the rain. We needed the rain. It's all natural rainfall. Mm. They have a desalt plant that they're putting in and and using, but it's pretty expensive to run a desalt plant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It takes a. Uh, 10 gallons of salt water to make one gallon of fresh water. Wow. But they got plenty of salt water, but it's just, you know, the, the, ra the rain. So you got a lot of rain this, uh, the past uh, yes, yes. winter time, which... And we were so happy for that. Yeah, so we got plenty of those. So I'm back on the big toe over here. So big toe gets a lot more um, joules or, or energy into it to improve. So so you, you, you have... Uh, Reservoir that's full of water now. It's full of water now. Okay. Do they do they expect it to last a while? Yeah, it'll last. Well, if the if there wasn't any rain, they figure about four years. Four years. Okay. So we get some rain, so that's getting warm already. Okay. This one's a little bit thinner. So move to the other one. So we're we're on the fourth one now. So John's been putting uh, medication on at least once a day, at right? At least once, but now he's going to put it on twice a day. Yeah, okay, doing it twice a day really seems to improve the uh, appearance of the nail. Okay. So I just recommended that. Yeah, and I, I want to look pretty. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Especially when you're when you're biking, right? You got to look oh, good. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So also, are you are you soaking the, your feet right now or no? Well, just. When I, I I go in the jacuzzi every day. Oh, okay. And the hot, and then let the the jets run on my toes. You know? Yeah, yeah. I do recommend people soaking their feet and kind of alkalize the environment because the fungus okay. loves the acidic environment. So alkalizing with like uh, putting some baking soda or um, uh, apple cider vinegar is excellent. The Epsom salt a little bit in there is okay. also excellent. If you really want to be serious, put some tea tree oil, uh, a few drops of that into the um, bathing uh, water and soaking it is really helpful about uh, 10 minutes or so every day that's that's like magic that works really well to kill the fungus and then when you come out of the soaking or come out and coming out of the shower you use the uh, hair dryer because uh, fungus loves um, moisture so if you dry with about three minutes of hair dryer to really keep the area dry that really helps the uh, to keep away the uh, fungus as well yeah, that's pretty hot dog. yeah sorry so they tell me when they when it gets hot, so I move to the next nail. We're not quite done with all the jewels yet, so I'm gonna go back to the big toe on the other side to kind of finish that off right now. Okay. And then um, I know you wear sandals a lot coming from the island, but wearing sandals is really good uh, uh, to keep the uh, moisture out and keep the warmth out because the fungus loves warm environment as well. So going barefoot a lot is very helpful as well. I, I know you're already doing that. You're, you're kind of a beach guy anyways, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're already doing that. And then um, there are a couple other things that are important, obviously, is diet is important because uh, cutting out a lot of the sugar. I watch my sugar because I'm, I'm, 
almost diabetic. I'm not, but close. Okay, so you're pre-diabetic yeah. and keep yeah. away from the sugar, right? Because yeah. they, the fungus loves sugar. It, it, it likes sweet stuff. So we like it too, but the fungus loves it even more. So keeping away from sugar is very helpful as well. And then sunbathing, obviously, getting some sun into the nail because they, they, live in, they live in darkness, all the fungus does. So if you uh, can uh, go out in the sun at least five minutes, I know you, you do that, right? You do that all oh, the time. Yeah. So that's, that's been really helpful for uh, John as well. So those are the things that I really recommend. It's a lot of work and it's, it really requires persistence. But if you can weather through it like John did, uh, I think uh, we can have some great results. I'm happy with the, the way it's coming out. Mm-hmm. And I never thought about putting like a hair dryer on them after you come out of the shower. Or yeah, yeah, that really keeps it nice and dry, and that really helps to uh, keep away the uh, the moisture. And also, uh, rotating shoes and socks really important. Shoes are uh, that's where the fungus lives because they love that environment. So if you can rotate shoes and don't wear the same shoes uh, two days in a row, and then spray them with antifungal spray like tonactin spray into the shoes uh, daily basis, that also really be helpful as well. So. John's done a great job of improving his nails, and we've been persistent. So uh, here's a result of uh, what I show you with the laser treatment and all the other things that John's doing.